Guys, welcome back to the Cyberplaid build. So today what I'm gonna do is I need to figure out a way to mount struts because the strut towers are completely gone. My roof line on this car was roughly right here and the strut towers were right here, you know, they were even higher. And uh, there's no way I could do what I want to do with those strut towers. So just come along with me. I've been brainstorming this for several days now. I think I got an idea. All right, so here's the plan. Look at all these mounting points that I have, right? This is my template. 11, 11 mounting points on this side. And then there's gonna be a connection on these frame rails right here. Beam, beam, beam. Struts opposing each other. All right, after pretty much all day cutting and drilling, drilling was the worst. This 316 stainless. Okay. There's a total of 13 holes, 13 bolts that are gonna go into this frame body right here. And then this one has four and you know, identical on the other side. The weird thing is they have these threads all over this, you know, cast aluminum um, subframe, whatever you call it. And they have threads all over the place. So I'm, I'm gonna use all the threads. I wanna put these on right now. I'll put these uh, huge spacers that are coming in today. Uh, but this is basically what's, what it's gonna look like, you know, all the way there. And then this one, all the way there. And then there's another one on the bottom. So I need three of these need to have spacers, but in all this thing has 13 bolts. That, that's a lot of bolts right there. Um, that's just for this side. This one gets four. All right, on to the next stage. This thing right here. These two beams, stainless, stainless steel, quarter inch thick, a little bit overkill, but that's all that I could find in my you know, general area for now. So I was like, you know what, I need it now and uh, it'll be solid. What I'm doing is these beams are gonna be centered to where the strut is connected. If you look at the, uh, the knuckle right here, this is where the strut connects. So right here up and these are centered 12 inches apart from the outer It's a mess in here, but check this out. This goes here. I'm gonna weld it, you know, tack weld it wherever I can weld it up here. And then I'm gonna take this whole setup off and then weld it from the back. For the cantilever, I'm gonna be using two of these. These are fat, five eighths bolts, grade eight. So there's gonna be two of them. You know, one standing like this, another one like this, butted up against. Play like that. All right, take a look at this. Not too shabby of welding job. That's where I'm at for today. I am so beat. I need to clean up and uh, go home for now because I've been in here for at least 12 hours today and I am exhausted. That looks kind of crappy, but that's what it looks like right now. I think it's gonna be a pretty solid setup. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I took this, oh, this thing off. <laughs> this thing was such a pain to take off. I had to pry it from both sides like 20 times. Just wiggle it out. It's gonna be fun getting this thing back in there, but this is what it is. I took it off to do the welds from the back. Um, even though it's, you know, there's definitely a lot of welds on here, but I just want to weld everything possible. 
So this thing ain't going nowhere, that's for sure. I'm gonna weld this thing back on, put it on, and then um, basically put all the bolts in with uh, Loctite. Whew. Okay, putting this thing back in place was not easy. We went back and forth for literally like half an hour. I had my son jump on it over there, over there, and uh, finally got it to go back in place. I thought it kind of twisted it, tweaked it, you know, because because of the massive heat. I, I was welding like everything from the, from the bottom. And um, I was like, oh my God, I thought I twisted it, but apparently not. It was just how tight everything is. You have to uh, really get it um, in its correct place. So next step, I'm gonna use this high strength thread locker gel and torque it down. This is, I'm at the point where I'm basically, you know, this is not gonna come off anymore. And I will be doing welding over here in this area. I'm not, uh, I'm not worried that, you know, this thread locker is gonna get that hot that it's gonna mess it up because it's like, you know, all the way over here and this plate back here. So. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it. Check it out. Whoa. I haven't used thread locker like this. Look, is this, is this chapstick? I'm wrong, it's thread locker. And torque them all down to its specific spec. Check this out. There it is. That's it. These are all 12 mil or M8 bolts. And um, I, I'm basically torquing them down to the maximum that I can without, you know, um, start tightening these, you know, this kind of bolt, it'll start to stretch. You wanna end it right before it starts to deform. I'm gonna do the same for the rest and uh, get on that side. All right, ladies and gents. So I'm at the point where I think today I'm gonna put on the, uh, the, the cantilever and the shocks. Shocks are basically gonna be uh, butted up against this back to back. And what I'm doing right now with the uh, laser, I'm just making sure it's absolutely centered, you know, from there to here. Um, my threshold is 130 seconds of an inch. Cars like from the factory are way off of that. So on the stick, this is my midpoint for the, this side. And this is my midpoint for this side. We are absolutely centered right now. Usually you would probably see one when you when people do these kind of setups on let's say on off-road trucks or something like that. Um, you want to do two because there's you know a lot of force going over here. Let's let's call this this is the cantilever arm. So this will play like this, right? This is where the most force of this suspension, you know, play will be, which is, you know, in these. Picture this standing like this, this here, this will get bolted into here. From here, there's gonna be an arm going down to here. And that's my setup. Yeah, I'm gonna tack these in, get them both ready, then the next step is I need to cut these right here. I already drilled them out. So that's gonna be cut out like that. I was doing these, these holes by hand. This is stainless steel, right? I was the, doing these by hand and there was no way that you can do this by hand. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. It was right down the street. I went and bought it. Bought one of these drill bits online and I drilled out all the holes in literally a fraction of the time compared to when I was doing this. I am not gonna be doing that by hand anymore. I have this trusty tool right here. Uh, that thing's amazing. 
I've been thinking of one of those for a long time. It's a little old school. This is a Craftsman. But uh, hey, I'm professional now. All right, so check this out. This is the cantilever arm, you can say, and it's gonna go on top of here. Just like that. Oops. Let me adjust this thing real quick. Tuck it in. Ugh. Check this out. So I got this arm on here. It's touching evenly in the front, just like I, how I like it. And picture this thing. Center is roughly right here, but this this will be you know decompressed. Right now it's you know all the way out. When the car sits, it, this thing goes in significantly. So picture it like roughly right there, something like that. This thing will remove this, this piece and this will get screwed on into there. This is quarter inch. All right, guys, I'm gonna attempt to turn it on. I welded it a little more in a couple spots. Let's, uh, let's turn it on. <laughs> Stay back. The car is refusing to uh, turn on. There might be something disconnected. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to kill it just in case something goes awfully wrong. I'm telling you, I'm terrified right now. <laughs> um. As bad as I want to test it out, I can't test it right now until I build the, the, the skeletal structure of the car to, you know, support it kind of from the middle and from the front and to the back. So that'll be on uh, one of my future really soon videos. So next step, I need to build the skeleton for the car and then I can test this cantilevered suspension. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.